Okay, so in the last video what we did is we essentially um, created explosive bullets that caused an impulse effect on the environment around it and caused um, destructible meshes to be destroyed when they're hit. Um, in some cases you don't want every location that's hit to show an explosion effect because if it's a regular bullet it shouldn't have that effect on um, regular boxes, only certain things that explode. So instead of having it um, in the in the projectile blueprint like we did in the last video, we can bring that up here. I went ahead and erased the particle emitter and we're going to put it into a new spot. Let's go ahead and open up our meshes in our um, destructible mesh and we're just going to scroll down on the right side in the settings and add an effect. We're not going to add it to um, preview depth 0, we're going to add it to preview depth 1. Let's go ahead and choose an explosion and we can even add a sound here when it happens. We'll just do explosion one and hit save. Now when we go into our event, we should be able to see the boxes react normally. And this one explode. Pretty easy. Uh, it's good for creating exploding barrels or uh, different kinds of effects for different objects that get hit. Um, I I think the effect works pretty good. You can also resize the explosion if you'd like to um, adjust that and maybe adjust the impulse to fit the explosion size, but uh, that's pretty much the basics of how to get it done. It's pretty simple. So, hope that helped. Uh, catch you in the next one. Bye.